All right, we're going to move on to uh, the Miss Teen USA pageant winner, Carly Hay. So Carly is from the great state of Texas, and she recently won Miss USA 2016. Um, she recently came under fire for some racist tweets from her Twitter account um, that surfaced. So I guess these tweets were from three years ago. So she was, I think, six, maybe 16, 15 or 16 when they yeah, happened. Yeah, she was young. She's she still only one Miss Teen USA. Yeah, I think she's 18 now. So. Yeah, she had to be young. Um, so there are critics claiming that because of the uh, tweets that she sent out, which were laced with um, the N-word. And, and about that word, in other words, I think we're going to, we've had a discussion about this, we're going to actually use the word uh, because we feel like when you abbreviate that word, it loses its impact. And nobody has ever called me an N-word if I'm called that, I'm referred to as a nigger, same as you. Yep, no one's so, ever been like, hey, you N-word, sit down. <laughs> no, so we're going to say the word. And I hope that um, for... And we're not giving permission well, for people to just walk out there <laughs> yeah, and well, use the word but... all, you know, <laughs> willy-nilly. Yeah. We want to say the word because we feel like when you take away the word, you actually don't feel what that word means. Right, right, Some right. Some of her tweets say, uh, these are, once again, from 2013, so three years ago. Uh Watching Taken, which is a movie, with oh, that... I love Taken. Uh, Taken 1, 2, and 3. So, wa Nelson, that's my movie. Watching Taken without my nigger, because she chooses Willis Trace over me. Feel special, bitch. Uh, second... Uh, Wait, what? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> a second tweet, I know I'm a comedian, nigger. Another tweet, what are you talking about, nigger? And another one, I am home, nigger. So, those are just four of uh, a lot that she and it's not with the what e is it do you know the context for any of these is she actually talking to it looks like she's probably having a back and forth conversation with oh all of her friends in this are not they're not none minorities. of them are black no and besides she's is she using it almost seems as if she's using that word in a way to describe her friends though like you know you know you'd be like yo you're my bro yeah you're, you're my buddy my dude like is she just using that as bro because she says she's watching it with them okay so her reasoning for um using those words she blamed it on music and her friends and she said she was influenced by her friends and the music she listened to and that's why she was using those words and that she was in a uh, like basically a dark time in her life whatever that means she didn't expand I'm in on a that dark time every day of my life <laughs> literally <laughs> and um she actually never formally apologized until she went on um was it good morning america today and did she apologize and she finally did but the fact that she not only I just does don't she, understand the point in it, like yeah. what you were reading, sound like she's referring to a white person. As she, well. I think she is. I think she is. So that makes me wonder if she understands what the word means. It to me, it reveals that she's never had a conversation with her parents. Like her parents have never talked to her about this. And frankly, this I looked. Or maybe up, she's never had a conversation with a black person. Probably not. I looked up where she's from in Texas. Where she's from? I can't remember. It starts with a T. It's like Tyler. Tyler no, no, Texas. not Tyler. Not I like, Tyler. I know where that is. We don't know um, what that is. No, but she's from a part of Texas that has had a history and a presence of uh, Ku Klux Klan activity, mm. of racist incidents at the so high school, the, the junior high. So this is nothing surprising coming out of that so part they're all of Texas. Talking like I, this. Think she's from, I think she's from East Texas. Um, the problem with that is with those texts, I don't know if I should be insulted. Or if I should be excited that you want to imitate my culture so well. Because she's re she's referring to them like they're her buddies. Like, you know how, like, a bunch of black people get together and be like, what up, nigga? What up, nigga? Like, that's how it sounds. I don't think she's referring to a black person in any of those. Oh, no, I don't. I would bet. I was going to say I would bet my firstborn child, but I, I shouldn't do no, that. No, don't do that. It's yeah. not worth that. I would, mm -hmm. I would bet money. There we go. That I don't have. There we go. <laughs> bet that next refund check. There we go. Ooh, can't wait. Can't, go. can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> but I would bet money that, yeah, none of the people that she was talking to on Twitter were black. That's why I'm just like, I don't know if I should be offended. Right. Or if I should be like, wow, thank you. I, would, I don't. I don't feel you like really saying, like using that word that I, we use all the time. I don't feel like saying thank you. And it's interesting because the uh, Miss Universe was it Miss Universe uh, pageant? Because I think the Miss 
USA is under that umbrella. Mm -hmm. um, they are sticking with their girl. They're saying she said that she was in a dark time in her life. And it doesn't seem too dark. It seems like she's chilling and she's using right. the word like bro. Exactly. And so she's... And so, okay, so this is the question. Yeah. The, I think the real question is, are we okay with someone who is not black using the word like bro? Because she's not using it from those texts, maybe from those tweets, maybe in other ones she is, but from those tweets, that's not really an offense. She's not using it to offend a black person. Yeah. Like, that's the real question. Are we okay with someone who is not black using that word like bro? And she's not even saying nigga. She's saying nigger. Like, with a but most, hard but most, e but most people Woo! who aren't black who use the word like that say it like that. That's crazy. Like, she, what really frustrates me is I read in the comment sections. Um, no, but are you though? Are you okay with people that are not no, black? No, I'm not. At okay, all. well, then I have a story to tell you guys. Oh, then. Lord. Um, we have a mutual friend oh, who shall oh, not be named. Oh, oh, no. I gotta tell it. No! I gotta tell it. <laughs> We were out one night oh, and no. we were getting, we were looking for our Uber and our Uber drove right past us. And our mutual friend, who shall not be named, who is not black, but is an amazing friend. I, I would say that she's um, a real cool. She comes to spots that are pretty much predominantly black with us and fits right in and will ask me to go to those spots. So obviously I would say. She educates us on oh, black yeah. She was telling me about, I need to use a satin wrap to wrap my hair at night. Or that she and she does wrap her hair. Oh, and she does wrap her hair. And she's a like, coconut oil. She's using all the oil. Oh yeah, like so. I want. I don't want you to think that she's a racist at all. Like, I feel. Like but anyways, that's the kind of person she is. Great, lots of fun, love her to death. But about two years ago, we were leaving this spot, and our Uber comes up, drives right past us, and she does this. Yo, come back here, nigga. I was like. <laughs> I was with her, a guy that I was dating at the time, and around us, the area of DC that we were in was predominantly oh, black. black. People Ooh. were looking at her like they were about to jump her. We were like, I, I, I even looked at her like that. I was like, what? And I was like, what did you, you can't say that. Like that was my just initial response, not even like a thought response. Like that was my just immediate response. And she was like, what Nina, are you serious? Really? Really? You offended? And I, she was like, yo, come back here nigga. She said it again. And I was like, I need to just step away because I don't know how to feel. Like, I feel bad. But then again, I kind of feel where she's coming from. And then I'm like, I still need to protect my friend because the people out here are looking like they're about to jump her. Yeah. The guy I'm with is upset. Like, do you know he was upset? Like, I didn't know that. Oh, yeah, he was upset. Yeah. He was like. So that's why I'm saying, like, it took me a moment to be okay with it, but I was okay with it. So I'm like, do I? And if she did it, if she did it tomorrow, it would just be a funny story to tell. I would not be offended or anything like that. So that's why I'm saying. Is it ever okay for someone who is not black to use that word? Like in that situation, how did you feel when she did it? So I, I don't remember much of that night. Um, not One drinking out. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But do you remember when she like did it and we all freaked out? Honestly, I it's so it's kind of big. I just okay. remember there was a rush to get her in a car oh, and yeah. send her home, and then we oh, called yeah. a separate we, Uber. That was like, how we didn't even get her was. out of the area immediately. And she was like in the car, like get in, get out. I was like, no, 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 you go ahead, you just go, yeah. go. Go. I don't want my people thinking I didn't turn my back on it. Go. Go. I'm with y'all. I got you. I'm yeah. I think with her, okay, I don't want to sound like a hypocrite either, but I think the difference with her is she grew up in a predominantly black environment. Yeah. Very diverse environment. And and, majority, and still majority black though. Mm -hmm. So her, her vernacular, her persona is actually more stereotypically black than mine my reality and her reality is we grew up in the suburbs and we are suburban black girls as suburb as you can get in down south Mississippi. <laughs> so pretty much everything down south is suburban yeah so uh, it, her her is suburban a word that's a car right can you be suburban well like, suburban is a car and a word okay there we go this is my own life. this is my real life dictionary oh my Keep gosh going. so I, I'm, I'm actually not mad at her. I understand because to me that is a part of her culture. Mm -hmm. Like I used to listen to, I like, I like certain kinds of music, you know, that has trap music talking about, I'm in the back making the coke. I'm splitting it up and throwing it around. And, hey, we got to make coke. Like <laughs> that type of trap music. So I was uh, listening to some music and uh, it was out of the, I think uh, LA area and it was a group of um, I think no 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 not LA it was actually Atlanta and it was a group of Asian guys and they were definitely from the hood you could tell that the way they spoke they hung out with tons of black guys there were black guys in their vi in their rap video but they were using the word nigga left and right and I was like 
at first, you know, at first, like, kind of jolted me. That but then I'm like, this is who they are. Like, they're more, uh, quote, like, I don't want to say black, but. They understand the black culture. They grew up in or the Or that culture. kind of black culture mm -hmm. in an urban environment way better than I do. This is who they are. They're not being inauthentic. And I can't really relate to that environment, even though most people looking at us would think that. Um, that's another story about perception. And, I grew up in a hood, sister girl. No, you didn't. Look at the they way used you to call me Gangsta G. I can't wait for your friends to text you Genie. about how much of a lie. John BF. Okay. Keep going. Um, I'm just saying that for our friends, it's not an excuse, but like she's to me a part of like my community. She honestly. It's where so, that's, she, so that's what makes it okay if you if you grow up in that community if you relate to it if you have friends like that and you're like you feel like they're a part of the culture yeah I do so we're assuming or do we know that she's not a part of the culture oh I know where she's Miss from USA, yeah. it's a segregated place it uh, she claimed that uh, she's become a better person because of the girls that are in the pageant and I'm like how is that happening when all the girls in the pageant are white Maybe they sit around I'll wait. and they talk about the times they be using they use that word in conversation. I'm sure that's what happened. Were all of the girls in the pageant this year white? Not all of them, but near, let me pull up a picture. Say, oh, I'm looking at the picture now. Uh, I don't see any black people. I think the there's picture. a black girl way in the back. There right? might be one black girl in this picture. You can barely see her there face. There might be one black girl in that picture. And maybe that one black girl helped her become a better person. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. But I do think that, like, it, it would have been worse for me. Let me say that. It would have been worse if she was referring to black people as niggers. That would have been worse. Yeah, but I, and you know, the thing for me that um, I feel is revealing about who she is as a person versus what she's saying now is the fact that she didn't take down those tweets. Like, you've had three years to yeah. recognize that that's not but, okay. Oh, but then again, if you tweet something three years ago, are you still going to be thinking about that three years later? Um, If I'm in a pageant, yeah. You are? I, like, I think I've always been a little careful because, like, you know, applying to medical school. Mm -hmm. Medical school is a much more conservative environment than a lot of other um, professional schools, I feel like. So yeah. you've already been trained to watch what you say, yeah. um, not put up things that are too political, although as of late... Um, I've been putting up more what things. What does it matter now? Right, I'm in. I'm in. Mama. Right, it doesn't matter now. <laughs> but I, I, I think that, especially for her, that's such a bigger platform. Mm -hmm. Like, she's on a national level now. And there was a former Miss, what, Teen USA, who I think was African American. She's like, you should have known better. The minute you won, you should have run, had somebody run through your tweets or yeah. you do it yourself. She's like, because I did that. Mm -hmm. You know, and especially you saying that word, like, she, she had a lot of tweets with that. It wasn't just like, you know, 10. Ooh. And okay, so, lot, so then the question becomes, should they take our crown away? So that's the argument now. Um, at first, actually, well, I, what I want is consistency. Mm -hmm. Like, if you have taken a crown away from a girl before, go, go for, for my, things, go ahead. You my, my just, woman, I keep yes. mentioning. Tell, tell All me. right, Vanessa, my Vanessa thing. Williams. Every time I hear her, I immediately think of her. 1983. If you guys don't know about it, what happened was in 1983, Vanessa Williams became the first African American uh, Miss USA. I hope. I, I hope it's not Miss America. America. I'm sorry, I'm Kendra. If you watch it, sorry. Uh, Still shame the devil. Um, <laughs> So she actually had her crown stripped away really quickly afterwards because um, she had taken pictures with Penthouse magazine and they released some of her nudes without her consent. And because of that, they... Was she fully on nude? The I, I, that's what I read, that she was nude. She was nude? Okay. I think most of the pictures that came out where she was still covered. like covered but there were leaked pictures that um and was there a reason for taking the crown away or morality calls yes and i actually think donald trump was a part of that oh, i believe that? and <laughs> almost well, that's open. a conversation yeah for tomorrow mm, i don't want to waste my breath on him right now um but they just apologized to her the uh miss usa pageant officially apologized to vanessa williams really 30 years after the fact and wait when did they apologize to her last year Wow. And she, I think, participated in the pageant, I think. Wow. As, like, a judge or something. 
Finally. And some people are like, you should have still said, like, fuck you. Like, oh, you know? I would have been like, I'm yeah. done. Yeah. I'm done. So we're saying, or I'm, I think we're on the yeah, same no, wavelength we, as this. It's like, there's a, there's a racial double standard in this. I know that if um, there was an African-American girl that won the pageant that had something scandalous, they would probably take her crown away like that. She would not have the support and sympathy of the committee and of the country. Um, we have proof that this has happened before, and you can see how it plays out differently. So I'm not surprised that this makes me want to snap back to the um, Stanford swimmer tomorrow oh, when we do our gosh. show tomorrow. We can do that because yeah. that's it's equivalent. Well, not equivalent because one is like a crime, but absolutely, I feel like they should definitely take her crown away. Yeah. Um, even if she is using the word in jest or in a friendlier tone than what I anticipated it to be, I, I definitely feel like I think that if they've taken people's crowns away for less. Than this to me especially the time that we're in right now in our country it's so much racial tension and you're supposed to be a role model for young girls everywhere and all of this is on the news and they're gonna see the takeaway point for younger girls is oh it's okay for me to do this right. because nothing happened to her you're like you are a role model I guess my final thought on this is uh, we talked about our friend and if it was okay for her to say that or somebody that grew up in a, a black environment um, to say the word nigger, nigger. Um, what about somebody that didn't, though? Oh, no, absolutely not. Okay. That, that, I feel, that's how I feel about her, though. That's why I was yeah. saying, for me, it's not okay for her to say it. Right. It was a lot, and maybe there are tweets out there. If you guys see tweets that are a little bit more intense, let me know. But the ones that you just read off was a lot different than what I was expecting. I was expecting her to like use it in a name-calling way yeah. towards a black person. But absolutely not. Absolutely not. I get offended easily. I try not to use the word too much. Yeah.